Today we're going to look at adding integers using algebra tiles. The first thing we need to do is to look at our algebra tiles. The yellow tile represents positive 1 and the red tile represents negative 1. So if I had the problem negative 1 plus 1, that would equal 0. I could look at that as saying I owed you a dollar and then I paid you a dollar. So how much do I owe you? 0, of course. With algebra tiles, when you have a negative tile and a positive tile, we refer to them as a zero pair because they cancel each other out. So now I'm ready to start looking at addition. I'm going to start with a problem we already know because it's best to start with easy problems and to look for patterns to help us understand what's going on. So let's start with 5 plus 2. To solve this using the algebra tiles, I put down 5 yellow tiles and then 2 more positive tiles, giving me positive 7. If I were to think about this in terms of money, I would say that I had $5 and then I earned $2 more, so now I have $7. What if I had owed $5 and then borrowed $2 more? I would write that as negative 5 plus negative 2. And to solve this with tiles, I would lay out 5 negative tiles and I would add 2 more negative tiles, giving me a total of 7 negative tiles. So now I owe $7. In both of these situations, the signs were the same. That is, the numbers were either both positive or both negative. So now let's look at situations where I have one positive number and one negative number. What if I had $5, but I owed you some money, so I paid you back the $2 from what I had. To solve this, I would lay out five positive tiles and two negative tiles. I know that positive one and negative one form a zero pair, so I can make those go away. As you can see, I can do that a second time. That will give me the answer positive three. So now I have three dollars left. So in looking at all the possibilities, there's only one situation left. When I owe more than I have. Let's assume I owe you five dollars and I pay you back two dollars. How much do I still owe you? Well, that would be negative five plus two. I would solve this by first laying out five negative tiles and adding two positive tiles. That would form two zero pairs, which I would remove, leaving me with negative three. So I still owe you three dollars. I've written out some problems for you to try. If you don't have algebra tiles, you can draw them out on paper. While you are solving these, look to see if you can find any patterns. So pause the video. And when you are done, start the video again. Now let's look at the problems you just did. I'm going to quickly solve these problems so you can check your work. So 4 plus negative 2 is equal to 2. I notice that the signs are different and that I had more positives than negatives, so the answer was positive. Negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9. Here, the signs are the same, and since both numbers are negative, the answer is negative. 8 plus negative 5 is equal to 3. Again, the signs are different, and I have more positives than negatives, so my answer will be positive. And the last problem, 3 plus negative 9 is negative 6. In this situation, the signs are different, and I had more negatives than positives, so my answer was negative. Did you notice that in situations where both numbers had the same sign, we simply added the digits and kept the sign? So a positive plus a positive resulted in a positive answer. And a negative plus a negative gives you a negative answer. In situations where we have one negative number and one positive number, we actually seem to be doing subtraction. And whichever one I had more of would be the sign of my answer. If I had more positives originally, then my answer would be positive. And if I had more negatives originally, then my answer would be negative. So if the signs are different, you subtract the digits, and the answer is the same as the number with the larger absolute value. 